Hey everybody, it's raining outside, so it'd be a good day to go in and tinker around with the Volvo a little bit. So ever since I swapped out the tailgate, I've been tinkering with touch-up paint. And I have some nice color match paint for this car. And I've done some touch-up and I'm shining on a spot here. I've got a light and I'm trying to do the best job I can of illustrating this, but you can see it in the reflection of the light, I believe, through the camera. And if I run my finger over this, I can feel the clear coat on there. Now, this is hard to see without good light on it. There's another spot over here that I think you can also see. Honestly, with my eye right now, I can't find it. It's, but it's a high spot. Oh, it's right here. It's a high spot. So I thought what I'd do is I'd show you some techniques I've been using to actually fix this. And... You know, in a when everything works right, it almost makes this this patchwork completely blend in, and you never can see it. I don't know if I'm going to be that successful here, but we'll try, and I'll show you as I'm going. So the first thing I do is some wet sanding, and I'm using 1500 grit sandpaper. I'm using it around the sanding block, and when I say wet, I mean we're making it wet. So I'm putting water on it, and then I'm just lightly sanding. As I'm doing this, I can actually feel that that spot. You know, I can as the block goes over it, you can feel it. So I just keep working it. I'm not rubbing very hard. I just keep working over those spots. Kind of find a circular motion works best. You can see the material kind of appearing in the water as cloudiness. I'll use my finger to see if I still feel any difference. I do feel a little bit there. I'll just give a little more. I don't feel much there anymore. Okay, and I'm going to get a rag. I'll just wipe this off. Now it becomes a little more obvious where we've been sanding. This is where most of the work was, was done. I could feel just a little bit there. Down here, I still feel just a little bit. But I'm gonna to go to a 2000 grit sandpaper now. And we'll just repeat the process. Okay, so this is my 2000 grit. Still using the same old sanding block. Keeping the area wet. And we'll just work on that some more. Well, the 2000 grid will continue to cut the material a little bit but it's also removing some of the very fine scratches that the 1500 grit put on there. You do see from some of the fogginess in the liquid that it's, you know, it is removing material. I try to use a circular motion as best I can. Still feel a little something right there. Up here, I don't, I'm not feeling anything up there. Just a little faint something. Okay, we'll wipe it off again.
Okay, so now it's pretty obvious where the work was done. It's right here and then down here. But you know, with my finger, I, I don't really feel it very much. Very small difference there, and that's good. You can also see that where I've used the paper, I've hazed it, right? So I've hazed all the clear coat paint around that, along with taking this area and this area down and trying to get it flush with the original finish on the car. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna do some polishing with two different grades of polish. I'm gonna start with a somewhat aggressive polish. I'll get that ready, then we'll, we'll come back on the camera and I'll show you what I'm doing. I move the camera back a little bit to give you a little broader field of scope. Just show you here. I'm just using a, a drill for this and I have a, a little pad. I'm just keeping that a little damp. Not much water, but just you know a little damp. And then I'm using a polish here. This is my... Oh, this is the wrong one. Let me get the right one. That was my final there. I'm going to use the more more coarse for this one. Just put a little bit of polish on there, not too much. Can always add more. And then we just spread it out a little bit. And then just start working it. I'm not going real fast here and I'm not using a lot of pressure. Let that dry a little bit. Okay, now we'll wipe this off. So now what you should be able to see is that a lot of the scratches that were there from the sanding have been uh, polished out. This polish can get a little bit work to get off of here. But it's certainly looking a lot better than it did after we were done with the wet sanding. It looks like it could, from over here, it wouldn't hurt to do a little more with that polish. So I'll do a little more here. All right, so uh, I wiped off that second round. I can tell you that this is working pretty well. It's getting harder and harder to see those two repairs. I'll zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up to do the, kind of the final polish. Okay, with this final, this final polish, I use a softer pad and a higher, much finer polish to do this. But the same process, nothing different here. Just different polish, a little softer pad.
All right, now I'll let that dry before I wipe it off. All right, let's go ahead and wipe that off. I'm not good at waiting. I like gratification. I need to see something work out. I threw a lot of rags while I'm doing this. Doing a great job. Let's try one of these. Well, I can tell you already, I'm having a hard time seeing either one of those repairs at the moment. I'm sure if I really stand here and stare, I can eventually find them. But A hard time. Right here, maybe. Is that one of them? No, if you're not happy with, with it yet, you just polish more. That's what you have to do. You know, it looks like if I wanted to, I could spend a little more time polishing, especially down here. Yep. It looks actually it looks worse in the camera than it does in person so I'm just gonna I'll just do some more with that final polish and see where we end up all right there we go so boy it's very tough to see the repairs anymore with the light well they are, they are there but I tell you they blend in so much better than before I did that so, now I have more spots like that. So I'll just keep going on that. Make this car look like new.